previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Look, I think I'm blocking the road as well, aren't I? Here we go, edge forward a bit. Oh, it's, it's proper chocker now. Welcome back to Eurostruck Simulator 2! Um, if you notice though, we've got these messages, this this doesn't, this doesn't bode well. This probably means that the journey we made just the other day to try and get into Bulgaria is probably, or Romania, or Bulgaria, I can't remember what it was. Um, it probably means we're probably back in, in, in Turkey, unfortunately. But never mind, at least we've, at least we've got a, a sort of, we can do another journey to there, maybe go cross country a different way, so it'll be fine if we are back where I think we're back. Uh, I also see that we've got an envelope for a change. This is exciting. Exciting. Let's push the button for the envelope. We don't get envelope very often. Special, new special transporters. So, oh, new places to get them from. There we go. We've got a few more places that you can do the big big ones from now. So basically, this is the only time this ever gets used. You see how few things there are. Basically, you get when you first start the game, you see, um, you, 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 t you have to choose a brand of truck you like. Now, I knew nothing really about trucks, but I didn't want to select the, the, the usual one that everybody goes for, which is Scania. So I didn't choose a Scania. I chose a, a Vico, because I, I had no idea what a Vico was. Um, but I thought, hey, it's different, and nobody else chooses it. So I chose a Vico as my brand, my personal favourite brand. I did actually buy an Avico truck, um, but it did tell me that, and then of course it's got the bank, and then it was, it's, um, need your own equipment to bring stuff, this is when they had trailer add-on, and this is how you get more money to, to, to expand, uh, expand with real with real estate, so it's basically this is how you can buy more places, and of course the special transports, this one gets updated regularly with more and more places as we go along with more and more options available to it, so, so, so there's some new ones being added right now, which are these ones. So that's okay. That's fine. So that's what we've got there. Um, we have had, as I say, news. So let's look. Let's look for the bad news here. And see where we are on the world map. Yeah, we're back in Istanbul. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but but it's fine. Don't worry about it. We can soon get out of. Uh, we can soon get out of Bulgaria again. Uh, Bulgaria, um, uh, Turkey again. The border's just here. Right there, it's border. So it's not going to take us long. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get over. Uh, is it where are we trying to get to? Oh, I did say. I think this is where we want to go, isn't it? Is that where we want to go? Yeah, I think we were here, weren't we? And then I was going to try and get across to um, that one there. That's it. We we're going to try to go to these ones. So, so um, uh, uh, Burgas or uh, Varden. Um, so that's where we're trying to get to, so then we'll go try and do this run here, which is the 22, right the way across, because apparently it's got some of the most beautiful scenery we'll actually see in the game. So that's where we're still going to. So that's the aim, is still to get here or here. So one of these two places, we might even accept this one, because it's kind of, kind of, um, you know, constant, Constine? Constantine, can't, 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 do you know, so I'm really struggling with the words today. Um, oh, look, there's some different outfits, uh, uh, things for the, the maps as well. Look, it's now highlighted in, in orange. That's very exciting. Anyway, so we just try to get here, basically. So if we can get here, here, or here, I'll accept it, and then that means we can go for the, the, the Route 22. That's so unlikely that it's going to change madly in the next, in the well, between the updates. I, I say that, and I've been caught out before, but it's worth it. I can't believe we actually made that 4,025 kilometer uh, run before we did it. Here's our, here's our legend. Oh, it stays on now as well, instead of floating over it. Oh, we can untick what we want. We've got companies. Got garage zoned. Oh, that's very nice. Viewpoints, unvisited viewpoints, garages for sale. That's quite nice to see a few other things. So we've got resting places. Ah! Reset to the default. Oh, this is interesting. So we've got a few more things that we can add and remove from the whole thing. And select all. Look at that. Just, just lit up like a Christmas tree of, of, of things to do. That's the rest in places anyway. So basically, we're going to try and find a job that takes us there. So let's have a little look at the freight market while we're here. Let's see if we can find a freight market from Istanbul. Um, and let's see if we can find one that takes us roughly the direction we want to go. It won't be a long journey, is, is the in fairness. We probably can't do that with the truck we've got. It struggles with about um, 15 to 20 tonnes. So it struggles a bit. That 
is R1. That takes us to the bottom of there. Or is the one that takes us a little further? That takes us too far. That takes us too far. That takes us the wrong way. That is the one. That's perfect. It's 5 hours and 12, 14 minutes. It should take us roughly the direction we need to go. Um, we may have a little look and see what the routes are there on there. Um, what is it? It is a standard delivery. It is um, a class um, or an a ADR class, which means it's explosive, I think, because it's kerosene. 18 tons of kerosene. So, so we'll, we'll 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 book that one in. Hopefully, I'm, I'm I've slept, so it's not uh, it's not a, it's not a it's not a sort of a late night journey or anything like that. And we can we can enjoy the scenery as it loads up for the first time. I've got a beverage. What have you got today? I hope you've got a beverage. I've got a beverage. I've got I actually I've gone gone some, got something special. Just been to the supermarket, so I've um, got something special. I've got. Uh, uh, vanilla latte, one of these fancy ones you got. They were on, they were on sale. I wouldn't pay full price. Um, they were on sale. I never pay, pay full price for coffee. Although I like coffee, I always look at the brands and see what which ones on discount at that particular point in time. Anyway, so vanilla latte. Mm. Oh, you can taste the vanilla. It's nice actually. Right, where are we? Let's have a little look. Oh, the bed's really full. So we first thing we have to do is sleep. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I, where can I sleep? I think, I think I can roll in here. Handbrakes on. We'll take the handbrake off. Let's roll in here and go to sleep for the night. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to have to roll in here and have a have a little nap. Hopefully, we can still get this job in time. This is the, this is this, this is annoying. This is a bit annoying, really. I knew knew that we needed to sleep last time we did it. Oh, two o'clock in the morning. I hate two o'clock in the morning. Nice lights on. Right, let's roll out of here. Let's see if that job's still on. I'm hoping that job's still available that we're going to go to. 2.50 a.m. You can see it down in the bottom right-hand corner. We've got, basically, I've got a little GPS down there. And that tells us the speed I'm doing, which is about 12 kilometers an hour. The gear I'm in, which is uh, um, automatic 4. Let's just change there. Um, it's a Sorry. weird location for this thing, by the way. It's kind of, I've got, like, my own little point here where we can go along and there's people parked up for the night look um oh this is a bad one to get out of i remember this as well I do like the fact that i'm right next to the mercedes uh, dealership oh look santa santa's got a little light he's got a little glowing light oh that's glowing as well finally oh, we got to see it oh the lights around the, the, the cabin are work are on as well oh I'm feeling christmasy now proper christmasy there we go i didn't know santa had a little light that's very cool that is very cool indeed. Right, anyway, so so we're heading out this way. And we're going to go for it. So we're going to go down this road, then turn around and come back again. Which is fine. Oh, very quiet. Very quiet for a change. It's all very quiet, actually. It's extremely quiet. It's a bit worrying. We're going to go around this way. And join this road here. Can't see a blooming thing. I'm going to join it anyway. Let's hope like hell that I haven't run into anything. Oh, it's not so quiet now. Anyway, so so one of the things that I do have, and, and if you if you follow my channel, you'll know that that um, I've changed the traffic density using a uh, basically a, just a change in the configuration file. It's down in the description below if you want to find out how to change the traffic density. Because there's nothing wrong with changing the traffic density to, to increase it. It went from about 3 to 5, I think that's what it was, or 2 to 5, one of the two. Um, I think it goes all the way up to 10. Um, and I, I find that the, the 5 is about right. Because unfortunately, the, the, when you put a lot more in, it uh, taxes the CPU on your machine, which is fine. No problem with that in my machine. Um, but it also can uh, can affect the the the, the performance of of, of the uh, of, of the game itself. So so that's that's a factor. And and of course they also get a little lost because when there's a lot of them, you sometimes end up with these traffic jams that are just uh, sort of bizarre mixes of well, why, why is that a traffic jam like that? If that makes sense. So uh, that does happen as well, unfortunately. Speeding a lot. Let's not speed so much. Yeah, going for it. 
still haven't sorted out the sensitivity. I do need to sort well out the sensitivity on this one. Not quite done it. Like him a red truck though. Still like him a red truck a lot. Let's stick with this lane. Indicate to come out. I do find this truck very chunky. You know, we've said this before about this Mercedes truck. It's a very chunky, utilitarian truck. It's it's from the sound of the the, the indicators, which are like thump 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 thump, to the sort of gr the sort of grunt, the growl of the engine. The rum, rum. You know, it's like it's like it's like it's it's a very throaty machine. Come on. Seriously. Come on, car. Get out now. You can go, go, go. Yes, you can. It's gone. Go for that. Go, go, go. I'm going. We're out. Yeah, it's a very throaty machine. It's it is it is it is it growls at you sort of angrily. But uh, I like it. I've actually quite like it. I also like the fact that Santa is as as a little light light like that. I think that's brilliant. So I have to pull over. I think because I'm. I think I have to pull over. I'll go through this one. Yeah, road thing. I was. Oh, have I missed the blooming turning? I've missed the blooming turning, haven't I? Or have I? No, I've not. I'm so confused there. 12 kilometres away, 18 minutes, right, okay. I'm hoping the job's still there when we get there, because I, I slept through the night, and there's a good chance that it's changed. Hopefully there's another one of similar similar sort of distance and location for me. That's... Oh, this is a lot of this is a lot of ifs and buts, but but it's worth it. it. I think it's worth it. Worth it at the end of the day. Okay, we're all we're on the road. On the road to nowhere. Istanbul's one of the really difficult little cities. Actually, it's it's got a very complex sort of road system, one way system that's can is is it's a little bit. It's not the easiest to, to manage. I'm not gonna not gonna do that because we're coming off at this next junction. So let's not let's let's not confuse the situation. Get in with this cement sort of uh, um, uh, pipe work there. That's, that's, that'll be proper heavy. Throwing Santa around wildly, and we down we go. Okay, and on to this one. We're all slowing down again for for another toll. Is that the the, the population? One point five million, really? Of Istanbul? Is that possible? Is that possibly a one point five million? What is it for New York? Is it twelve million nowadays? I think it is. I think it's twelve million for New York and about eight million for the UK. No toll to be paid. That's fair enough. Eight million, as in the eight million for London. Sorry, I'm not, not the UK itself. That's that. That would be stupid. The UK's got more people in it than that. But uh, I think it's eight million for London. I think it's twelve for New York. From last time I read, anyway, it's probably a lot more by now. I think I have to come across here. Yeah, I think I do. Three lanes, turning off. No, I'm not turning off that one. I've got uh, six kilometres to do. So if you look in that GPS on the, the, the bottom, uh, bottom right-hand corner, we have... Uh, we have... Bleh, bleh, bleh. We have uh, the, the, the little red flag that's just slightly below the 72 kilometres now, and that little red flag tells you how far to my destination, which is uh, 5 kilometres, 6, Sound 9 minutes cool. game time-wise, yes, and it's 3.29am. Cool. Actually, it's not such a bad thing, this, because it is going to get lighter as we run we run the day, so... Um, oh, I don't need to come off that way. Don't need so to go... 
Need to go down this one. Yes, I think I'm on the right one. There we go. It's the oil and gas thing that we're going to there. We're going to the oil and gas thing, so that's where we're going to. What an awkward place to go to get stuff. Three kilometres. I, I said before, didn't I, that it was an awkward place. I bought another truck that's similar to this one for, for my, my whoever my colleague is and uh, that I, I hired recently to, to work for it. But uh, Here we go. Speeding a bit. Coming to a halt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Looks very... Looks very much like one of the... Oh, no, it's traffic lights. Traffic lights. We might be all right. It's traffic lights. It's all right. Quick sup of coffee while well, that's doing that. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. I like that. Nescafe. Cheap, cheap one. Latte. Look at the... La look at those. It's like, it's like a Christmas tree there, red light thing. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that. You can't really go wrong with that, can you? It's sort of all all red. The whole thing's red. You can't go wrong with that. And I've got Christmas lights, of course, on my truck. And uh, there's my Santa there. The red light from it all is just permeating to the, the, the vehicle. Look, it's just it's just bouncing off everything. Oh, it's gone green. The green light hasn't gone through, though. The red has, but the green hasn't. Is that weird? Oh, it has a little bit. It has a little bit. Yeah, straight on, she says. Straight on. Shut. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Or it felt closer than it was. It went yellow and then uh, he, st he stopped completely. Ah, look at that for a, for a traffic light. Whole thing with, with, uh, with, with uh, LED lights through it. Tell you what, you can't go wrong with that, can you? It doesn't go yellow, though. It just goes green. It just goes green. I'm tempted to squeeze by him here. Do you think I can get by? Oh, no, he's gone. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's gone. Right, okay, down we go. Not been bit here before. We'll work our way here. How's everybody's week been? Have you all had a good time? Are you all uh, busy doing something in, in, industrious? I've had a, another day off here. Using up the last of my holidays before Christmas. Not the most useful of uh, productive of things, but uh, but of days to use. But uh, nothing else you can do, considering considering we're all back to, to masks and soon COVID passports for everything and, and all this kind of stuff. So... Uh, Yeah, anyway, we've all got the party at number 10 to, to look forward to on the 24th. It'll all be fine. Are you just going to keep driving? Even though I'm going on? You are as well? Bloody hell! That's mental! I'm going... No, stop! Oh, that's mental! Do you see that part of the road? That's crazy! And I'm going to come out with oil in a second! A load of kerosene, probably. Let's just hope that's still here, the job that I was looking for. Bow, bow. Do you know what I haven't put on my music? Oh, it's still there. Oh, brilliant. Take that job on. Right, let's have a little look. Right, so um, we'll do the we'll do the bits. We'll do the we'll do the instructions in a minute on how we, we get these things. Uh, that's the back end of it. Front end's around here. Have I just gone the wrong way here? Kind of. I should have driven round that. Let's just do it. Let's do it the proper way, please. Let's do that again, but the proper way. We went to have driven round that. That's going to be nuts coming out of that junction in a minute. Right, okay. Here's my truck. My, my, my trailer. So, okay, so we have to hit the thing in the middle there, which you can't quite see because it's very dark, uh, which is the which is the um, fifth wheel or uh, the coupling that's there, that sort of ho horseshoe shaped thing. On the bottom of the uh, the truck, which again you can't see very well, but you can on the second one, sort of there, dangling down, is the pin between sort of the middle of the, the truck. So we've got that, and looking, see my, my Christmas lights, isn't that nice? 
Gone with Christmas lights on. So we've got to do that and square them up. Now let's see if we can do it properly because I've recently I've had a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. I've, I seem to have forgotten how to reverse. It's not it's not a it's not a massive problem. I've just forgotten a little bit how to do the, the reversing. So I've got the more advanced coupling on, which basically means that I have to hit the thing exactly right, and if I don't hit it right, um it doesn't latch on, which is fine. I've not done it. Again, I have not hit the, the thing together properly. So, I'm not far off, though. I'm struggling a bit at the moment. I don't know why. what's going on with me in this, this, this truck. I could do it with all the other ones really, really well. But this one, I, I just can't seem to get the... Can't seem to, seem to get it square enough. There we go. That's a better one. There's a bit of scraping noises. Let's see the thing attached, because we like to see that. Or I certainly like to see it. Let's watch it. We should be able to see that. The, the air hoses. Oh, the top drops down on this one. And the air hoses attached there as we go, so we're now attached. So we have um, 18 tonnes of kerosene, and we're on our way to the, to the beginning of this uh, uh, Route 22 that was recommended by Hatman. He says it's an extremely beautiful route, but obviously we'll have to do that at daytime. So this is probably not a bad thing doing this now, right now. It's just a five-hour journey. We'll get us there, get a bit of sleep um, for for a journey in the next the next episode, which will be which will be great. So let's get out of here before all these stupid trucks start arriving. Again, like just a second ago. Oh no, they're coming. They're here. Forced my way out of there. Yeah, I had to wait. That was that was that was fluke rather than good luck, I think. Or was it good luck and fluke? One of the two. The, the whatever I use normally, Jedi man mind tricks on that one. Usually, I, st I don't use those kind of tricks. What it usually uses, uh, I smash into things accidentally. I try very hard not to smash into things, but uh, sometimes, sometimes I'm not very good. I smash into things because it has lights on. Look, oh, we've, it's one of these. And it's a bad road out as well, because there's no real option here other than to follow the slot out. And because the density of the traffic really kind of applies to where you are, regardless of what time of the day it is, um, even, uh, it will be slightly reduced at night. But because of that, you get this kind of, I don't know, level of, of traffic that's, that's there. Um, I'm just rolling up my sleeves. We're getting, we're, getting, we're getting serious now. We're getting serious. We're going to roll up our sleeves, so we're going to get very serious here. Very, very serious. Very, very serious indeed. Anyway, so, but yeah, just depend on the level of traffic there. I do like those traffic lights, though. They're very cool. They're very cool indeed. I'm just going to slow off a little bit there. Just let it sit there in, in, the, in, in, in automatic one. Just sort of loitering, sort of sitting on the, on the, on the, it's not rolling backwards, but it's not rolling forwards because it's just the right amount of power. Um, and it keeps on moving just before I want to get my coffee supped. I need to sup that coffee. There's Santa. And he's got his light on. I can't believe they've got a light on. That's just awesome. I think that's a Santa pack you can buy, by the way. There's like a themed pack that you can buy with Santa stuff in it. There's like a specific pack for that. Right, I've got coffee. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Right, I'm going to quickly, though. I'm going to put my music on because we haven't done that. Let's do that. Well, don't want the bank go back. Let's put the radio on. Put my radio on, look. Here we go, my license-free music. There we go. Return to the drive in the game. Got to have our music in the background. That's only because I was showing you the, the fact that we'd had a, a change of, um, you know, whatever it is again. Um, it's, uh, game settings, so so, so the, the whole thing uh, um, would, would, uh, would, 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 would sort of go through. Uh, round we go. I think there's some new trucks been added though, hasn't there, to the American Truck Simulator, which has also had an update recently. So there's some new trucks been added to that one. Interestingly enough, I was also looking at. You remember, I've seemed to be a bit obsessed the last maybe three or four episodes with with this uh, the future of um, sort of truck driving and vehicles themselves and 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 bits and pieces. You know, and sort of with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the electric in mind. I'm actually ex hoping that. The Euro Truck Simulator and, and American Truck Simulator do stick in electric trucks because it'll be interesting to see um, them in here in the context of how long before a charge. But then we're going to have to work at charging points. Now, if they're going to do it really realistically, 
there won't be an awful lot of charging points so you'll have to be very careful on how you do your journey so the gps and its timing will not be the will not be the optimal route it'll be interesting to see how they want to whether they implement that in in such a way that that that, that actually actually happens um I'd be quite interested to see that, but but I was also looking at American trucks um, as well because I was looking at Volvo the other day and it was Volvo with their um, information on uh, you know their drive systems and the ones that they're doing. Um, they also do, are doing American style ones, but more the sort of box type ones. Um, those are the sort of what I would call what I would call a nose on them. You know, I think that they called us. Uh, you know, ours haven't got nose our trucks in the UK and, the, and and Europe and wherever else it's. But but American trucks do have that sort of nose where the engine goes. And um, they're still putting that on there, but I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of it will be. It's very weird. Why would you put a nose on it? You don't need to. Um, I don't think it's any more wind street. You know, sort of wind sweet. Little uh, little wind wind. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll put it in the comments. You know what I mean. But, but basically, but better, better uh, aerodynamics. Yes, better aerodynamics. That's what I'm, the words I'm sort of looking for. Um, more slipstreaming type thing. I know that's again probably rubbish, but um, but but it, it, I don't think it makes any difference to it. And I was looking at these things, and they were going that the you know there are some massive advantages. Obviously, there's a, uh, not as much money to save as the the UK market, where where we pay an awful lot more for for diesel than 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 the US market. I mean, I, I'm not sure how much the US pays. For, for diesel at the moment for a gallon we pay per litre um, and it's quite expensive at the moment we're one pound 47 that's making this video one pound 47 or one pound 55 depending on where you are in the country and if you hit the the motorways our, our, our sort of uh, big sort of roads and things like that if you hit the motorways you're looking at sort of one pound 70 to one pound um, 77 which is in American terms for a litre about two dollars fifty for a litre. That's quite a lot. I think you get guys get like a gallon for about two and a half dollars. So 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 um, I, I think I think we've got we've got some we've got a lot of expensive things. A lot of ours is taxed though. Ours isn't greatly taxed. Um, I believe that the the, the 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 American system is not taxed. In fact, I think they get they get some subsidies towards it, um, which is fine. No no problem with subsidies. Um, I'm sure we'd love some of these in our, in our, in our, ah! We'd love subsidies in our country. Just, I'm sorry, I'm slowing down because I've got all this stuff going on here at the moment on the road. Come on, let's squeeze in now, please. Don't be nasty. They are being nasty. He just hit my mirror. Yeah, I know. I know you hit my mirror. Yeah, you did. You bounced off my mirror. I saw that. Do you see him bounce off the mirror there? Oh God, these guys have come to a to a screeching halt. Oh, it's because there's a there's some. Oh, oh God. We got traffic stuff going on. He's screeched in front of me there. Oh, do we all have to go this way? Ah, oh, sugar. There'll be a helicopter or something there as well. I bet you. There's another helicopter on the road. You, you first you get one helicopter, and then you get every helicopter in his brother. Look, there's one. There's a helicopter on the road again. I would try and squeeze down, but I know for a fact that that that, that it would go badly. You can hear the helicopter. So we're going after a helicopter route here. This isn't very good. All right. Anyway, it's helicopter on the road, so so um, yeah, this is this has had a few miles to the journey. Not a lot though. We have got plenty of time. Can hear the helicopter. Yeah. So we're going to go down this road, turn around, come back again, basically. Which is fine. I've got a bit of sniff today, actually. Sorry if I if I'm sniffing down the microphone. I do apologise for that. And there's a little, just a little bit of a tickle in my nose. Nothing horrendous, just a tickle. Vehicle inspection coming up. So I have to go on this vehicle inspection, which I wouldn't have had to do if I had gone the other way. But now I have to be in the right must lane. Okay, I'm going for it. I need to be inspected, apparently. 
Okay, so I'm carrying contraband. Not sure what contraband I'm using, but uh, this is where we're going. We're going to be inspected over here. Weigh me, weigh me. I'm a big boy. Hopefully I won't be overweight. I've paid the toll. Going on the scale ahead. There's this man here. Afternoon, Merry Christmas. See my jingle all the way truck. Uh, looking in the mirror. Stopping. Press enter for the inspection. Gross weight, 31 tonnes. Have a safe journey. Thank you for your cooperation. I have done a brilliant job there of making sure that I've done that. To be honest with you, I don't think I can do much damage to this truck because it's so amazingly tough in its nature. It's a proper tough truck. Don't think I, don't, I don't think I would actually do any damage to it. Oh, we're looping round and coming back. Hello, Istanbul. I do feel like we've been round in circles here. I think we have definitely been round in circles here. We're 322 kilometres to do, down there in that bottom right-hand corner. Um, 322. Not long. Not a long journey. Long enough for us. Plenty of time for us. Lots of time to get acquainted, as usual. I'm just dr drifting along. Just drifting along. I've realised that one of these is probably going to arrive on Boxing Day, you know. You're going to get one of these on Boxing Day. You're ready for a Boxing Day one. I'll be festive on it. I wear a hat. Not that you ever see me wearing a hat. But I wear a hat for you. Just a Santa hat. Right, okay. And then do I come round this one? I do. And go round this one. This is mental, this. Okay, and we're pulling, and it's moving round. I can feel it pulling. Right, I want to get on this motorway here. On we go. We're on. 90 kilometres an hour. Get the foot down. Look at this. Whatever that is. Some kind of gigantic place. And we need to move over. I need to be over. We're over. We'll get our foot down. Got our Mercedes-Benz mug. It's 4.12am. We're just going through places we've seen before. So we're okay for thus far. So, so that's okay. Hopefully I won't have to pull over and bloody be weird again here. But I can imagine that'll be the case. You see this? I bet I have to be weird again. Just literally entering here. I bet I've got to be weird. Yeah, pull over to be weird. Again! Why has it changed within 30 seconds? Oh, I nearly cut that truck up. I can't believe it. Weird again. Check the mirror. Way off. Come on. In the mirror. Perfect. Inspection. 31 tons, surprisingly. Thanks for your operation. I just saw you two minutes ago on the other side. Oh! Nearly. That was just my eagerness to get back on the road and actually do some mileage for a change instead of actually keep going, pulling over for blooming, um, you, you know, no good reasons. And this is where I would have come across here, so this is where the helicopter is still. Down the bottom there, or over the top of there. That car just whipped across me as well. Got some mental driving going on again. The usual. Just pull back over now. I'm not going to pull over now. Stay here. Behave myself. Just pulling over. Went for uh, went to grab some. I'd say I'm having a day off, um, but uh, went uh, went to grab a, 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 a sort of a cheeky Greg's with a with a with a with a, with a cappuccino um, before for sort of for lunch today. 
um, and a Christmas ba a baguette. Wasn't very keen on the Christmas baguette, to be honest with you. A bit too much of the old cranberries on the on there on the old treaky gre Gregs. But um, um, we went and a, and, a, and, a, and a cheese and onion pasty because their cheese and onion pasties are just are just legendarily good. Um, so so that and the sausage rolls, of course. We all know about sausage rolls. There were songs written about sausage rolls, wasn't there? Um, but uh, but uh, we, we you know the the, the legendarily sort of uh, good sort of. Uh, Baked products, um, nice and sort of, um, sort of. I wouldn't call them stodgy, but they're, they're tasty, very, very tasty indeed. Anyway, so we've got this uh, coffee and cranberry sauce, and uh, in the, in the lay-by where I was, where I was sort of by by it, um, there was a, there was a there was a, a a lovely big police car parked not too far behind me and uh, after we'd done that when Mrs said we need to go to screw fix and I said well you know it's literally around the corner I mean and by the around the corner it's like uh, we got in the car drove for two seconds you put your seatbelt on you took the seatbelt off it was that kind of quick um, and there was the policeman as well he'd got himself a cheeky Greg's too and was parked in screw fix to have a to have a, to eat his cheeky Greg's so so uh, he, he decided that, that that was the place to eat it so rather than eating it on by by Greg's or wherever else it is he thought he'd, he'd sneak around the corner and I guess he was pretending he was doing some other work maybe because they'll track his car so so they'll be like you know you were at Greg's but whereas if he was at screw fix it was like different not sure how realistically but anyway so so that that that's what that's what was happening there cheeky cheeky gregs from the from the police officer in his uh, one of those big sort of pursuit type style cars i see they've been using uh, back to our electric by the way completely obsessed with electric um i don't know if i can't finish that conversation about the stub nose things from the from the american side and anyway i couldn't be uh, but i'll go back to that in a second but the police are using uh, Tesla Model 3s as pursuit cars. Actually, they've discovered that they can they can they can use them quite nicely, um, but uh, and that they, they they work and do the job. Be expensive though, considering there are forty five thousand pound cars rather than one hundred and forty five thousand pound cars that you can you can do the same job with. But anyway, uh, it's an aside. Um, but uh, I need to move across. By the way, I need to pull over. As I'm on three lane here, and I need to pull over. That was a police car right underneath me. Tut speak of the devil. Oh, hang on. We're not. We're coming off again there. We need to stay over where we are. Um, anyway, because um, I was just about to drink my, my coffee. Got my, my latte again there. So, uh, he, cheeky Greg's police in, in Mark 3s found that they work very well. Getting four hours worth of journey out of the first one, even in pursuit. Um, and uh, then they just charge it for seventy percent, which gives them another five or six six hours apparently. So 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 yeah, it's turned out to be quite a, a successful uh, run of the uh, of the of the of the Tesla Mark III. Um, and then, but back to the trucks for the Volvo side. As I say, I don't know why they put the big sort of nose on the front of the trucks. I don't know if that's a. I, I don't know why they need the nose on it. Does it make it look cooler, or does it just look meaner or something? Maybe is that what it is? But anyway, so they've got the nose on it in America that's for these things, these box ones. But they're really trying really hard because of the diesel pricing and all this kind of stuff to kind of make it a, a, a viable thing for, for for America. There is some savings to be had. Um, there are some savings to be had over the price of uh, of, of, of of fuel, especially uh, especially if in the UK you can save you can save um, sort of hundreds of thousands of pounds in fuel um, by having uh, diesel trucks and uh, not diesel trucks, electric trucks. So there's there's lots of money to be saved. Um, uh, I don't know whether or not the journeys are better though, because I think you've only got a limited amount of travel time. You're talking five hours worth. But in the states, let's say they've got these these Volvo trucks. I was looking at these Volvo trucks. I was quite interested to see that they've built them with the fronts on them. Um, but they were also pointing out that realistically, with an electric motor, unlike uh, a diesel or whatever else, where they have to they have to uh, sort of you have to you have to get up a little bit of speed to 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 um, you know get the best torque out of the machine or the best sort of pull from it you don't need that with electric electric literally starts at a zero um, level you the moment you get in an electric vehicle and you put your foot down the power is there that's it there's no there's no there's no building to it it literally is there. It's straight away there. So that's that's a major benefit for for, for trucking industry because um, you know look, rolling through those lower gears it can be really kind of uh, you know it, it's it's a quite a skill to be able to roll through those lower gears. So so uh, yeah, definitely an interesting one. Is there some extra trucks coming in this shortly? I think it's, have they added another truck to the uh, Euro Truck Simulator as well? You'll be able to tell me in the comments. I'm quite convinced of that. That's just that's very shiny that one there. I don't know what I'm overtaking or coming up level with, but it's very shiny indeed, whatever it is. Didn't recognise it. I'll tell you if I could recognise it, if I could get to the... the, the, the uh, if I could get in front of her. 
Renault. Renault. It's Renault. It says on the side of it. He's pulling past me. It's like a race. We're having a race. I'm racing another truck. He's doing better than me, though. I bet he's got a lighter load. I'm sort of swerving a little bit here. Oh! It's I've taken the lead. He's eased off. Taking the lead. In a second, I'm going to come across and pull over past him and own him. No, I'm not, because that's coming there. They're slowing down in front of me. He's going to own him there. But we've already owned him by overtaking him. Three hours and 21 minutes to go before we get to our destination. We're on our way now. We're making our way there. Locking at 95. Santa's still got his light on. Go on, Santa. Pulling over. I haven't got the mirrors on the, the... I've got the mirrors on the vehicle, but I haven't put the, the computerised ones where you can get a little, like, one in the middle there. Um, we've not got those on because uh, we might as well just do it without. Do it without. Bobster suggested that. Gives me a bit more of a challenge. Makes it more realistic. Sugar. I, I tell you what's realistic is my inability to drive the plumbing thing sometimes. There's that Renault truck behind me there. Good morning, trucks. There we go. We're going up here. Just popped outside there to have a little look. I shouldn't do that because every time I do that, I almost always crash into something. Almost always. Not every time. Quite a lot of the time. Are we crossing the border hen yet? No, we're still in Turkey. So we've got to follow up through this truck. 110 euros roughly paid. Well, there's a bit of there's a bit of argy bargy going on here. Stop. Investigation time. Thank you for your cooperation. No, thank you. It's such a terrible sort of way to get in and out. Right, I'm drinking my drinking my latte again. You just you just stay there and watch watch the road excitedly. Mmm. Okay, cool. There's a bit of argy bargy going on about further back there as well. A lot of a lot of moving around of vehicles sort of um, crunching up together. It's fine. It's helped me out a little bit because them, them moving around has allowed me to pull past and get free. I'm going to cross the border again though. So there's a whole bunch of paperwork and, and other things that have to go with this. I think I've got plenty of time though. I'm trying going to get up speed first. Then I'm going to press some buttons to check, the, uh, to check that. I've well got plenty of time. Do need to change that GPS though. If you got a suggestion in the comments for the GPS, which one I should choose, let me know. Which one? Which which voice should we go back to? Because um, as I say, we, we, we can't we, we all can't decide on an English voice that we like. So we need a we need a we need a different language that 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 will keep us that'll keep us entertained. Okay, let's get some speed up as we make it through the countryside. It's quite nice. Very flat, but quite nice. Sun's coming up. They definitely need to implement seasons in this game, though. I, I, I think, I think we'd quite like seasons. Um, I think, uh, or is it mod a mod, and they don't want to step on the mods tours? I don't know. It's probably a mod, isn't it? Somebody's created a mod for it, and maybe they don't want to upset that part of the community. But I have to admit, though, if if you've got a mod for for seasons, that might could, could be quite fun. <laughs> certainly add a, a little bit of an element of uh, difficulty to the game right here we go plowing through gently whoa that wasn't gentle that was 18 kilometers over the speed limit sun blasting through look at those rays that's that's just a that's just a sun that's saying good morning here we go junction it's proper nice. Proper nice to see the sun. That's a nice looking truck, that. 
I do like that. I do like the colour actually as well. Do you think it's red? I'm not sure. I think it's, I think it's quite. I think it's quite pink, to be honest with you. Could be a. It's sort of a. It's quite a. Quite. I suppose it's reddy. It's very. It's more. I think it's more red than it's pink. But it's quite pink as well. I think that's a pink truck. That would doubt. That was a pink truck that went past. It said the word pink. It was like it's listening. Oh, it's one of these terrible junctions. Who's? Oh, hang on. Who are you? Why? Why have you come to a? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll take that on the chin. I did pull out on in front of him. I did pull out in front of him. And my fault there. Uh, didn't do too much damage though. One percent hit me slowly. <laughs> he crashed into me slowly. It's fine. I should have let him go, really, but never mind. Bad me. Bad me. Here we go. Passports crossing the border here. This this sort of, like, isolated, um, weird location in the middle of nowhere. We've been through this one before. It's just such a weird little uh, um, crossing of the whole thing. I've still got two hours to go. I can't believe that. Two hours and 30, 33 minutes to go. It feels it's like ages. Here we go. So this is us leaving Turkey. Morning. I'm surprised he doesn't have a gun. Pull into the nearest inspection station. I will do. Over here. Oh, it's a very rough road. Yeah, you may proceed. 33, 31 tons. We knew that. This truck driver pulling right in front of me. Just driving through. Sorry, very quiet because I'm concentrating on the on the on the bit that we're going through. It seems, you know, it's some, something about it makes me feel very serious, very serious indeed. With all these passport checks and all this kind of stuff. Oh, there's a fuel station ahead. That's fine. Checking my documents, please wait. I hope my documents are in order. Otherwise, it could take a little bit while. We're in order. Everything's in order. Have a nice journey. That's cool. If you want a diesel, this is the place to get it from. Oh, actually. Oh, just realised. Look at that. I just realised. I'm actually a bit low. Let's get some diesel before we leave the country. Let's just... Let's let's do that. Because I actually just realised how low I was. Quite pleased it did that. What do you think? 500 litres? Uh, 400. I'll take it. That's fine. Start us up. It must only be a 500 litre tank. There's a man there. Where am I going now? Here. Okay. Did I miss the way station there? X-ray expression complete. You may continue. Thank you very much. And then we have to hit the passports again because we're entering another country. We're part of the European Union now. So we're passing to... to, to uh, is it Bulgaria in? Romania? Oh, I don't know. Bulgaria. Republic of Bulgaria. We have to use the passports again to enter the Republic of Bulgaria. That's a, you know, what, a, what a faff. man walking up and down. It's a very serious man. I'm surprised he hasn't got a machine gun though. 
Alright, border checks. There we go, checking my documents. They're happy, those guys, though. They are very happy. They were very quick to let me come through into the country. Please, come into our country with your 18 tons of kerosene. Weird, there's no speed limit here. Oh, look at these guys inspecting. They got the dog out! Well, there's a dog! That's pretty serious, if you got the dog out. Sniffing for the drugs, that's what they're sniffing for, the drugs in the vehicle. Just the drugs, they're just marked up as the drugs in the vehicle. Yeah, that's that was pretty serious, wasn't it? Okay, into enter Bulgaria. We are. We are one hour and fifty seven minutes away from our destination. As we enter the the the, the this as, as we enter Bulgaria. Stunning Bulgaria. Look, burgers. Trucks, burgers, everything, we're all good. We've got everything a growing boy needs. Burgers and music. I see the music. We've just gone past there. 50 kilometres. 70 kilometres. What's this? That's a dump, isn't it? That's just a great big pile of rubbish. Right in the middle of that. That's beautiful. Stunning Bulgaria. Dusi Dali. She says. Right, we're on Route 7. We're going for it. Doocy Dali. Doocy Dali. Yeah, we're going Doocy Dali. I think that's straight on, by the way. She is, she's she's uh, she's Turkish. I chose the Turkish lady because we were going to Turkey originally in the original uh, uh, the uh, five part uh, l the the big one five the five part one. If you search for the big one, ooh, uh, um, if you search for the uh, the big one and the five part, that was that was a, that was I loved that one. That was a lovely run. I can't believe I made it as well. Even though I was quite late, actually, it was like a day late or something similar. It was worth it. It was a really good run. There's a car a truck in front of me. He's always at least accelerated up to speed. Santa's still there. Not that he's going to go anywhere, really. I need an elf. That's what we'd like—an elf. Like an elf on the shelf kind of thing. Ooh, that that's almost bad, isn't it? An elf on the shelf. Who thought of that thing, by the way? I never heard of elves on the shelf until about a few years ago. I don't know where that came from. Elf on a shelf. No idea where that came from. Here we go. This is some stunning scenery, though. I remember this last time when we came through Bulgaria. It was beautiful. It was one of those lovely routes there. It was like a scenic route. This is why I'm looking forward to Route 22, because I think Route 22 is going to be stunning. We are on the uh, mission to do what's known as the Vulcan, Bul Vulcan Explorer. Not the Vulcan Explorer, because that would be something completely different. Uh, but we are on the mission to do that. Oh, what a lovely truck. Um, we are on a mission to do that. I do like these. Do you know something that we need a mission to do all the basic trucks as well? Just buy one of the basic ones and try them all. I think because that's the thing, isn't it? Once you get the big money, you start buying the more expensive ones instead of instead of sort of enjoying the the experience of that sort of rough and ready that uh, you know the the cheaper sort of uh, model of vehicle. I mean, okay, I've, I've customized it with a few odds and sods in the vehicle, but that's only because I, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be driving, I need some magazines to read, my, my books and my my blanket for a little kip and and a cuppa so I can drink my uh, we can drink my latte on the way. But but to be honest with you though, it's it's a lovely it's it, it's a it's the, even this basic truck is still a beautiful truck. But that but but it but it won't be until you know the early days of you doing your trucks that you'll have played with the the original sort of more basic you know this this standard one, um, the one that's just kind of the the one that you buy when you're just buying for bulk for your fleet you know that that kind of thing you just um, you don't really do anything with it other than that. There we go, past the soil one. We here we go. Where are we coming up to? Is she coming up to a city here? I don't know. I think it's probably one we've been through if the if that's not gonna do anything. Solar panels. Sugar. Proper speeding offences today going on. 
Some proper speeding offences. You know, electrical places or whatever else is. Amazing. And then through this little town. 33 kilometres to go. We're doing nicely. And then on we go to the next part. We're just working our way, our merry way through the streets. We're coming up to a roundabout. I'm going to pop on here. Nice little roundabout, beautifully decorated with flowers. The amount of detail that goes on this game. It's just amazing. I can imagine that somebody's job is literally to paste flowers and things in there. Or in fact, I know it is for a lot of games. You know, they, 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 they get art designers. The computer will do some of it, but then there's an the art designer who will go in and he'll add an extra bush or tree or flower somewhere just because it looks so much better when you do that. You know, just chuck that thing in there and because that's the location it should be. You know, it, it adds that little textural sort of um, context that makes it more realistic, more more human. Um, I, I mean, if, if this is a game I could step out and walk around in, I would love to. Look at this. Sort of burnt out cars and all kinds. A very weird place. You wouldn't get that around where we live. I mean, you, I mean, that's not, that's not true. We will, you do get the odd occasional burnt out car, but it's not, uh, it's, it tends to be, uh, it tends to be uh, sort of, uh, well, I don't get burnt out cars where I live very often, but, but sometimes when they do appear, they're usually somebody from Scrap Birch who comes and grabs the thing, you know, so it goes to get scrapped. doesn't sit there for very long. doesn't let it get rusty, if that makes sense. Okay, we're almost there. Oh my God, we're almost over. I can't believe it. Time has flown. Has it flown for you too? I hope it has. This is sort of Bulgaria and sort of the, the pipes going over the water, the water pipes going over the, 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 the river. Very dirty looking river. Wow. Look at that. That looks, that looks, that looks, that looks, um, that looks derelict, doesn't it? Proper, properly sort of, uh, nowhere land. There's a zombie affected horde probably coming out of there. Yeah, look at that. I don't like the idea of those explosive barrels though, just being left and lying around. Here we go under this bridge. Wow, what a weird place. Apparently, I can park here as well for the night, which is perfect. But still, just a bit. Yeah, you can park it there. Bit, just a bit weird. This is where we're going to get our job, our job, our, our, our job for next week, wherever this is. It's just like a big industrial plant here. Look at this railway track. Thankfully, nothing coming. And then we're going down here. Wow, look at it! Look at it! Just proper industrial. I like it. Very diastopic, you know, sort of uh, the opposite of utopia. Diastopia. And let it. Where do you want it? There's loads of place to park in here. I can put it, put it anywhere. Over there. Confirm. Wow. Okay. Driving test limited. I don't know what that means. Um, there was no kind of... There wasn't a location for that. It just arriving was enough. It seems. I definitely chose the bottom one, didn't I? Yep. We're there? Alright. It kind of just spawned me here. Yeah, it's magically sort of... It's kind of just magically spawned me there. I 
I was, that's a proper weird one. That's a lovely looking truck though. Look at that. Look at that thing. You got you got to love. I got I like it. It's very very. Oh, it's so it's so utilitarian with the tires and the the, the diesel tank tank and the and the, the the place to store your 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 sort of your chains and your your bits that you need your axle you know sort of your um oh, I don't know whatever you do to to, to to open up your tools and things like that. It's just so proper industrial. I really love it. Right, let's go find that. There's a bed round the corner. I think we'll go for the one round the corner. Because it's just a bit further round. I think we'll go around the corner. Can you see it? So if I go to the left here, um, there's one that we've already passed. But there's one to the right. So I think we'll go to the one to the right. Because there's just so interesting an area. And we'll go to the right and we'll do that. Here we go. I'm speeding a little bit. I still think it's, I still think it's really interesting location. There's no traffic here either, which is even more interesting. You, honestly, you wouldn't think it was a working plant, but it clearly is. So weird. So weird. Right, okay, let's down here. Let's pull in here and get our, get, our, get ourselves a, a, a resting place for the night. So it's here. Um, to the, to the, to the, to the, just, just over this way, look. Is it? No, not that way. I'm going to guess this opens when I get up to it. Do you open? Oh, it does. The plot thickens. Wow. That's like a, is that like a store or something like that? It is like a store and there's a port cat, portal loose. That's quite nice. You know, sometimes don't see portal loose and then each, each truck space looks got a bin. I'm going to park, uh, where am I going to park? Back towards the bottom because then I can go for a little walk in the near the woody bit. There's at least a little bit of woody bit there. Park down here. We'll drop. We'll drop it in there. There's a man with look. This poster to be for. I thought there was. There's a man on it, cleaning her teeth. Look. Look. White smile. Very weird. Right. Okay. Let's reverse in here now that I've looked at that. Depends how lazy I'm feeling. We park right next to the bin. There we go. Proper lazy. Look at that. Right next to the bin. Just in case I need to throw some rubbish out in the port cabin to there. Ah, do you know something? What a weird and strangely wonderful location this is. Say, like quite diastopic. Very, very, uh, very sort of, I don't know, dare I say, Eastern European? Because I mean, it is Eastern European. And it's it's look sort of uh, quite sort of tired. Is that the right word? Maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the engine off. I'm gonna do the rest for the night, and then we'll be ready for next week's episode. Fingers crossed we don't get any major updates in between, and we'll do it. Wow, look at that! The lights on there. It's early evening. Look at that. I oh, quite like it. Anyway, um. <laughs> I've been your host, Real Dynamic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.